Chris Demersion. The percentages of players going to the NBA are the same as about winning a million dollars. Very, very small. But one former Razorback did it, and he's right in our backyard. It was a moment of a lifetime. With the 38th pick in the 2019 NBA Draft, the Chicago Bulls select Daniel Gafford from the University of Arkansas. Nearly a month ago, Daniel Gafford was drafted in the second round by the Chicago Bulls. But that wouldn't have been possible without his humble beginnings at El Dorado High School. My family and I, you know, we were uh, impatient on draft night. We were a little teary-eyed. You know, we were kind of, I was kind of mad when he didn't go earlier. When he did, it was like, oh, I just can't believe it. A few of his former Wildcat teammates shared an excitement. He definitely deserved it, and uh, he's worked so hard every practice, and just seeing him finally make it was great for him. I remember when he was doing the same thing here and there, he on the big stage doing it. He inspires us to um, just go harder, like, in practice, make us go harder. He just really opened up a door for us, too. Draft night was an extra pep in the step for one current Wildcat, Gafford's brother. It inspired me too when, when, when we first played, when, he, when I first seen him play basketball. It inspired me to play play basketball. When I see him now, when I seen him go to the NBA and get drafted, now I feel like I can do that same thing. Of course, Jeremiah Frazier knew Gafford was the real deal before anyone else. We would play basketball outside. Well, I will play 1v1. Now, he'll tell me uh, to play defense. Now, I don't play defense. I hold up under the rim. Wait till he come up under here to dunk on me. Jeremiah isn't the only one who recalls some of Gafford's best moments. We're playing Little Rock Hall here. Daniel got a defense rebound, threw an outlet to Czar, just throws it up in the air behind him. Daniel tears the rim off there. Despite the attention being on Daniel Gafford for one night, he shared a message with his younger brother that'll last forever. He told me that uh, I work hard, I'm gonna practice every day, I can do the same thing, you know, like that, get my grades good. It's a cool story. Thanks for Spencer Tillis, by the way, for the video.